There was this highly unusual situation where many of you who were jailed by this very government were, were derided as Gupkar gang are now invited to this meeting. You're standing next, in a sense, to the very leaders who, who jailed you. Uh, a, what was that like? And B, did that come up at all? Was there a chance to ask the government about those, those detentions? Well, it did come up. It would be impossible for it not to have come up. Uh, it, 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 I mean, it was brought up by uh, quite a few of the speakers uh, who okay. did speak. And uh, the, the entire trust deficit between uh, the people of JNK Hmm. and uh, uh, New Delhi and the attempt to create, a, to drive a wedge uh, between the people of Jammu and Kashmir and the rest of India. Uh, all of these, these things came up. Uh, look, I've, I've never been the sort of person to live in the past. Okay. Uh, it's, 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 it's not in my nature. Uh, so the fact that I was detained for eight months is, I mean, it's, it, it's, it's part of my history. Uh, it's not going to stop me from doing what I have to do for the people of Jammu and Kashmir going sure. ahead. Uh, I think it was important that the, the sentiment of the people of JNK uh, be put in front of the Prime Minister and uh, that we disabuse uh, people in power in Delhi hmm. of this belief that uh, everyone in Jammu and Kashmir supports what happened on the 5th of August 2019. Right. That could not be further from the truth. It would be dishonest on my part to say that there is nobody in JNK who supports it, sure. because obviously uh, there are people who support uh, what happened on the 5th of August. Right. But uh, I think it would be wrong for anyone in Delhi to believe that the people of Jammu and Kashmir unanimously endorse what happened uh, on that fateful day, because okay. that's certainly far well, from the truth. 